The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Third chapter, text number 6 through 10. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on December 23rd, Sweden to lose controlling the sense. So here Krishna says that you cannot control your senses artificially. It is not possible. Uh, those who are trying, just like uh, some of the yogis, they close their eyes Oh, I will not see beautiful woman. That is another practice. But that does not mean that he can control his senses. No. You cannot curb down the natural force of sense. Oh. This is a secret. People do not know. And if you let the senses go on in its own way, that is also dangerous. Then you are going to hell. Adanta govi bhisatang tamishram. If your senses are not controlled, then your senses will drag you to the darkest region of hell. That is another problem. Generally, in the material world, uh, adanta, adanta means I am controlled. Go, go means sense. Adanta govi, visatang tamistam, puna puna char vitacharvanana. Simply repeating, uh, uh, chewing the chew. The whole history of the world, you just study, uh, is a history of sense gratification. Uh, take for example, some twenty years ago, one Mr. Uh, Adolf Hitler came in the scene. And there was great upheaval as war in Europe and America. From 1933 to 1947 or something like that, the whole world was in trouble. But he is gone, finished. Uh, and what did he do? Sense that he, that's all. He wanted that this way government should be, according to his own sense. Another person, just like uh, Mr. Churchill or your President Roosevelt, uh, they say, no, the sense gratification should not be like that. The sense gratification should be like this. So it is the war of sense gratification, that's all. Uh, one leader is presenting a program of sense gratification. Another leader is presenting another program of sense gratification, and there is class. Uh, this is going on. This is the history of the war. 
and another class they are thinking oh there are so much trouble simply by sense gratification let us control our senses ah brahma satya jagan mithya just like mahavadi phila java sankara they say this world is useless this world is useless only brahma the supreme brahma impersonal brahma that is true oh. so that is also another sense gratification uh, that is bigger sense gratification why this mahavadi philosopher they want to merge into the existence of the supreme one that means by becoming hitler Churchill or Roosevelt, their senses were not very much satisfied. Now they say this world is false. Now let me become the supreme. There is another sense. Oh. So this world, oh. without Krishna consciousness, is simply sense gratification. That's all. One may present in one way, another may present in another way, but it is sense gratification. Therefore, the so-called yogi, or oh, 15 minutes meditation, or say 15 hours meditation, or 15 months meditation, but as soon as meditation finished, sense gratification. That's all. So this sense gratification program is very strong. Ah, how? And so long you will indulge in sense gratification, the repetition of birth and death will go on. The repetition of birth. This body, Bhagavad says, that these people are working for sense gratification. Nunang pramatya. Pramatya means mad after sense gratification. Kurute vikarma. And for sense gratification they are acting so abominably that it is not to be uttered. Kurute vikarma. Jadindriya pritaya pranati. They have engaged their life in sense gratification. Na sadhu manne. This is not good. This is not good. Why? Jata. Because Atmana, the spirit soul, Atmana yam, asanna pikle sadeha sadeha. This body is temporary, but so long this body is there, you will have to suffer. Oh. What is that suffering? The sum total of suffering is birth, Death, old age, and disease. This is due to this body. Therefore, the problem is how to stop this material body repetition. Today I have got this body. Indian tomorrow I may get. American this next next uh, birth tomorrow means next birth. Next birth another. Next birth another. Next birth another. It is going on. Going and there is no stoppage. This transmigration of the soul. But so long you do not stop it, there is no question of uh, being freed from suffering. They do not know it. They are thinking they are advancing. What advancement you have made? These sufferings are there. Birth, death, old age, and disease. You cannot stop it. Abrahma uh, Bhavana Loka, and even you go to the moon planet or to the highest planet, these four things will follow. Oh. So therefore, sense gratification must be stopped. But if you want to stop it artificially, it is impossible. Oh. Neither by this yoga process, neither by this jnana process. Oh. Uh, simply for the time being, you can check just like a naughty boy. By force, you can stop him acting uh, and mischievously. But as soon as he gets opportunity, uh, again. Similarly, senses are very strong. 
you cannot stop them artificially. Therefore, the only remedy is Krishna consciousness. Uh, this voice in Krishna consciousness, this is also sense gratification, eating nice prasadam, dancing, chanting, uh, e- reading philosophy, but it is in connection with Krishna. That is the significance. This Krishna consciousness movement is an art of living by which you will feel your senses are fully satisfied, but you are going to be free next class. This is the nice process. And artificially, if you want to stop your senses, you will fail. That is Krishna says, one who retains restrains the senses and organs of action, but whose mind dwells on sense of this. Just like Vishamitram. There are many instances. He was a great king, and he wanted to be yogi. And he went to forest, gave up his kingdom, went to forest. And he was meditating very seriously. And Indra, king of heaven, he sent some uh, I mean, society girls of heaven, the planet, a manaka, and she came, she began to dance before the closed eyes yogi, and as soon as he heard, oh, there is very nice a female voice and dancing, and as soon as opened, she became, cap- she became captivated, embraced her, so everything gone, you see. The sense gratification you cannot stop artificial. Nirvande Krishna Dhamma. Therefore we advise our students, either boys and girls, that if you have, of course, if you are serious in Krishna consciousness, you forget all these nonsense sense gratification. But if still if you are distracted, all right, get yourself married. Live peacefully, husband and wife, and both be engaged in Krishna consciousness, gradually you'll forget, both husband and wife. Don't try artificial. Artificial will never be successful. But if you can avoid it by advance and strong Krishna consciousness, just like Haridas Thakur, but don't try to imitate Haridas Thakur. His stage was different. Ah. We cannot imitate. We can simply follow. Anukaran, Anusharan. There are two Sanskrit words. One is imitation and one is following the footprints. If one tries to follow the footprints of great personalities, that is very nice. But we cannot imitate. Imitate. Imitation is dangerous. Just like Lord Shiva. He drank uh, an ocean of poison and he kept it on the uh, throat. He did not allow it to go down. Uh, so he, therefore his name is Nilakantha. It became bluish. Uh, his neck is blue. But if somebody imitates Lord Shiva and indulges in intoxication, Gnarya, he will go to hell. Huh? He is powerful. Uh, somebody says, well, Lord Shiva is a, a smoker, so we can also smoke. No. You cannot imitate. You can simply fall. Uh, just like the sun sign. The sun sign is so strong that it is absorbing the moisture of the filthy place contaminated place where one is passing stool and urine. But still it is sun. Because sun is so far. But if you live in that place for some time uh, where urine and stools are thrown, then you will be contaminated immediately. Because you are not powerful. Those who are powerful 
if they somebody do something which is very extraordinary, that is not to be imitated. You have to follow the rules and regulations. That will give you oh, progress. Don't try to imitate. Oh, just be in your position, try to follow the rules and regulations, and chant Hare Krishna, and gradually you'll get oh, as a result. There is no need of being hasty. Go on. Yes, in instead of artificially trying to meditate and control the senses, just when you are you engage your senses in the activities of Krishna consciousness, and gradually you will be happy. Uh, your senses will be controlled. Wow. First point. Instead of becoming a priesthood or transcendentalist for the sake of wants and living and sense enjoyment, it is far better to remain in one's own business and execute the purpose of life, which is to get free from material bondage and enter into the kingdom of God. The Varad Gatti, the mm. goal of self interest. Hard to it. yes. Of all our self-interest is to reach Vishnu. The whole Varna and Ashram system is designed to help us reach this goal of life. A household we can also reach this destination by regulated service to Krishna consciousness. For self-realization, one can live a controlled life as described in the Shastra and continue carrying out his business without attachment. And that will lead him gradually to the progressive path. Such a sincere person who follows this method is far better situated than the false pretenders who adopt show bottle spiritualism to cheat the innocent public. A sincere keeper in the street is far better than the charlatan meditator who works only for the sake of making a living. Yes. My Guru Maharaj used to say that don't accept spiritual life for living. Uh, that's why we are uh, sending the Sankirtan party. Uh, if we take it, uh, it is very easy method for living without working. Uh, we are getting money for our livelihood. Uh, this is not wanted. Uh, if you are uh, Spiritual life is for, just like there are so many professional uh, chanters, not here, in India. Their business is, because people like chanting, so they are, they have made this chanting business. <coughs> or uh, professional Bhagavad reader. Oh. People like uh, reading of Bhagavad, there are many experts, Bhagavad reader, uh, they can show many caricatures just to attract people, and such people generally, they describe the Rāsīlā Krishna. Uh, because Rāsīlā is resembling, just like dealing between uh, young boys and girls, so they take that part, uh, particularly Rāsīlā, uh, easy way. Uh, and just like here in America, I've seen so many persons, they're writing books on Krishna about Krishna's pastime with the gopis, as, as if Krishna has no other pastime. Uh, because these things are very easily sellable. So they are writing books on that. Uh, I have seen one book by, written by Mr. Vattacharya about this Krishna's dealing with the gopis. No, uh, this is not. You should not take Krishna's activities, Krishna consciousness, professionally for uh, livelihood. Well, that is dangerous. Uh, your life should be sacrificed for Krishna. That is one. Uh, otherwise, it shall be pretended. Uh, yes, go on. Verse number 8. Mm. Therefore, the Lord describes him, which is better than not working. A man cannot even maintain his physical body without work. Yes. Krishna and uh, Arjuna was talking 
Oh, Krishna, they might have said, Arjun. Oh, my dear Arjun, you are my friend, intimate friend, and devotee, all life. You haven't got to fight with your... Everything will be done by me. You go to Himalaya and meditate. No. He never said that. Uh, Krishna could do. Krishna could fight for Arjuna. Uh, he was all-powerful. Without fighting, he could give him everything. But still, he wanted to engage him. That one should be uh, engaged in Krishna consciousness along with his prescribed duty. That is required. Yes. Per- per- perform your prescribed duty, which is better than not working. Uh, if you cannot work in Krishna consciousness, then you better perform your prescribed duty according to Varna Ashram. Just like if you are a Brahmin, then you have to act that way. If you are a Kshatriya, you have to work in that way. Uh, but don't stop working. Uh, Krishna says, that a man cannot even maintain his physical body without work. Uh, he does not say that you become Krishna conscious beggar and maintain your body in that way. No. Uh, that is not required. That service for Krishna should not be taken, should not be accepted as profession for livelihood. It should be simply for the service of the Lord. For the service of the Lord, you can collect millions of dollars. But for your livelihood, you cannot take one dollar from any person. Then you'll be indebted. You have to repay. You cannot cheat others. This is very sick, please. Enjoy. Simply for Krishna's satisfaction, you can take, you can beg from others. Just like according to Vedic system, begging is allowed. Begging allows for whom? For the Brahmin, for the Sannyasi, for the Brahmachari. Because they collect money, beg from door to door for their benefit. Uh, suppose a Brahmachari is going to a householder's place or a storekeeper's place to give us some contribution. He is not collecting that money for his livelihood. He is quite competent to work. But if that one dollar which he contributes to Krishna consciousness movement, it is good for him. At least some portion of his energy goes to Krishna. That is the philosophy. Not that somewhere or other I may collect some money and live very uh, comfortably. No. You cannot do that. Uh, but you can accept Krishna's prasadam. That is a different thing. Uh, but for personal comfort, you have to walk. If you are a karmi, then you have to work. If you are a devotee, if you are completely devotee means Rishikena uh, Rishikesa uh, Sevanam Bhakti Richa. A devotee means one who has engaged his senses ten percent for the service of the Lord. He is devotee. Pure devotee. So one who cannot become ten percent or light, become fifty percent, twenty five percent. One person gives something for Krishna. Uh, don't be miser, because whatever you have got, it is Krishna. So long you catch it up, it is mine, that is Maya. You just let loose it for Krishna, then it is freedom for you. Krishna Vinam, work done and the sacrifice of the victim has to be performed, otherwise work binds one of the material world. Therefore, O son of Kuru, perform the tribe duty for his satisfaction, and in that way you will always remain unattached and free from bondage. Yes. Bondage means working for uh, one's own account. The same example. Just like a, uh, a soldier is fighting for the country under the uh, command of the commander-in-chief, uh, the more he is killing, he is getting uh, promotion, he is getting uh, medal. But the same man, when he comes back at home, if he kills one man, his hand. Why? Uh, 
because the that killing and this killing is not the same thing. So, one who cannot engage himself in sun-person Krishna consciousness, let him remain in his own position and try to sacrifice for Vishnu or Krishna uh, as far as possible. Uh, the prescription is for the grihasthas, for the householder, as exemplified by uh, Srila Rupa Goswami, that his income was divided into four parts. Fifty percent for Krishna, twenty-five percent for the family, and twenty-five percent for his personal reserve fund. That is, that he showed as an example how a grihastha should live. Not that uh, out of hundred dollars, ninety-nine percent for my wife and one percent for Krishna. No, not like that. Uh, he wants to sacrifice at least fifty percent. Uh, if he cannot sacrifice the uh, brahmacari, sannyasis, they are sacrificed their everything, ten percent. The grihastha, they cannot do that because they have got wife, children. Uh, therefore, fifty percent. Uh, so, these, these are the uh, prescribed rules and regulations for executing Krishna consciousness. Anyway, uh, if one cannot sacrifice ten percent, let him sacrifice at least one percent, two percent. The more he does, that is, more he becomes free from bondage. And the more he uses his earning for sense gratification, the more he becomes bound by the laws of the Yes. Acharata Purushena Parathuma. Uh, Vishnu Aradhate. By uh, following the prescribed duties of a particular section of society, in, a, in pursuance of the instruction of the Shastra, means satisfaction of Vishnu. Uh, yes. Therefore, one has to work for the satisfaction of Vishnu. Any other work done in this material world will be a cause of bondage, for both good and evil work have their reaction. And any reaction binds this form. One has only to work in Krishna consciousness to satisfy Krishna or Vishnu. And while performing such activities, one is supposed to be in a liberated stage. This is the great art of doing work. And in the beginning, Happy by this Gajana sacrifice, 
because its performance will bestow upon you all desirable things. Yes. Uh, in the creation, after creation, uh, the yoga uh, was also uh, created, and everyone uh, created being was uh, ordered to perform the yoga. One cannot uh, yoga dana tapakriya natajyam. Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita also you'll find that you may be a renouncer. Sunnat, oh, renounce, you have renounced this word. But the four things, yagga, yagga means working for satisfaction of Vishnu, yagga, dana, charity, yagga, dana, tapa, tapa means austerity, uh, following the rules and regulations for spiritual achievement. These things are not to be renounced. If somebody says, Oh, I have renounced the world. That does not mean you can renounce the service of the Lord. No. Even if you are sannyasi, oh, you have to work for Krishna. Either you are a sannyasi or you are a uh, householder or brahmachari, you have to work for Krishna. Uh, but the advantage of sannyasi is that because he has no encumbrances behind, he is detached from family. Uh, relationship, he has full-time service for Krishna. Similarly, Brahmachari, one who is not married, simply working under the order of the spiritual master, he has also sent person time to work. Uh, so, uh, these are the secrets that one has to work for Krishna. Either he is a Brahmachari or sannyasi, it doesn't matter, uh, or um, uh, householder. Uh, Otherwise, he will be captured by man. Go on. Therefore, the material creation by the Lord of creatures, Vishnu, is a sort of chance offered to the conditioned soul to come back to home, back to Godhead. Yes, yeah. this material creation, you will find in the Bhagavad Gita, that just like our body, his body is created at a certain period. Ah, by the father and mother. And it remains for some time. It grows. It gives some byproduct. Then it dwindles. Then vanishes. Yes, you can study from it. Similarly, the whole cosmic manifestation, this is a huge body. So it has a time of creation, its development, its byproduct, its activities, then dwindling, then it will also vanish. It will also find. And why this creation is there? This creation is there because those who have rebelled against God, Krishna, they are not allowed to enter into the kingdom of God. Oh. They are kept aloof, and this creation is made just to give them chance to develop Krishna consciousness. The Vedic Shastras are there. The representative of Krishna is there. They are teaching, uh, my dear conditioned soul, please adopt this means and end your reputation of birth and death, come to the kingdom of God. Uh, this is a chance. Uh, but if somebody takes it, or oh, now I have got my body, let me enjoy my senses to the fullest extent, then he don't. Then he loses the chance. Uh, therefore, this human form of body, should not be wasted simply by sense gratification like cats and dogs. Uh, those who do not know what is the complication of this material nature, this spiritual life or material life, they are rascal simply they are uh, enjoying the senses which have been given by laws of nature. They are thinking the best things we have got, let us enjoy to the fullest extent. No, it is not good. You must take the advantage to get out of the uh, field of material activities and enter into the kingdom of God. This is a chance of creation. Wow. All the entities within the material creation are conditioned by material nature because of their forgetfulness of their relationship to Vishnu or Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. The Vedic principles are to help us 
understand this eternal relationship. The Lord said that the purport of the Vedas is to understand Him. Yes. That we'll find in the 15th chapter. What is the purpose of so many scriptures and Vedic literature? Just to give you information that there is Krishna and you are eternally related with Krishna, you have forgotten. Just revive that relationship and perfect your life. That is the summer substance of all Vedic literature. Uh, wrong. In the Vedic hymn, it is said, Satim hmm. Vishvaya Atma. Satim Vishvaya Atma Isharam. Yes, God. The Lord of the living entity is the supreme personality of God. Yes, Lord of the living entity. Just like here we have got a, a leader, a society leader or a party leader or a, a club leader. There are leaders. Some are uh, led by uh, somebody, uh, some are led by somebody, uh, we don't wish to discuss, but there is a leader. That without leader, nobody goes to hell, neither to heaven. There must be one leader. The supreme leader is Krishna. Leader of the leader. Leader of the leader. Uh, there are various types of leaders. Nitya uh, Nityanam Chitana Chitananam Eka bhunam vidadhati kamaan. These are the wordings in the Vedas. So he is the supreme leader. Uh, we are following uh, some leader. Some leader is following Stalin, somebody is uh, Hitler, some leader is following Gandhi, some, somebody is following somebody, somebody. There must be something. But why not the supreme leader who will never misguide you? He will give you actual path of happiness. <coughs> then you become happy. Krishna therefore says, Sarvadhanman Paritajya. Oh, you give up all nonsense leadership. Simply come unto me, surrender unto me. I give you protection. That is what. Yes. You are, we are following leaders. There is no doubt about it. But there is misleader. Andhajathandai Rupaniyamana. Just like a blind, blind man is leading other blind men. Now what is the use of such following leaders? He is blind and I am blind. So if he leads me to cross the road, then what my life? My life is a danger. So don't follow this misleader. Ah. Krishna is approved leader. Ah. All leaders of the society, any part of the world has accepted Krishna as the supreme leader. Follow him. Ah. Then he'll be happy. Wow. Vishnu is the Lord of all the people, all worlds, and all future, and protector of everything. The Lord created this material world for the conditioned souls to learn how to perform Yajna for the satisfaction of Vishnu, so that while in the material world they can live very comfortably without anxiety in life. Then after finishing the present material body, they can enter into the kingdom of God. That is the whole program for the conditioned souls. By performance of yajna, the conditioned souls gradually become Krishna conscious and become godly in all respects. In this age of Kali, the Sankirtan yajna, or chanting the holy names of God, is recommended by the Vedic scriptures. And this transcendental system was introduced by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for deliverance of all men. Sankirtan, Yajna, and Krishna consciousness go well together. Lord Krishna, in his devotional form as Lord Chaitanya, is worshipped in the Srimad Bhagavatam as follows, with special reference to the Sankirtan Yajna. In this age of Kali, People who are endowed with su sufficient brain substance will worship the Lord, who is accompanied by his associates, by performance of Sam Kirtan Yajna. Yeah, this is, this is, a, there is a verse. Jagai Sankirtanai Prai Jajanti Hi Sumedha. Those who are intelligent class of men in this age, they will worship this form of the Lord, uh, who 
Krishna Vannang Tisha Krishna Sangha Panga Saparsana. The Lord who is chanting all is Krishna, but his body, body is not black. Fair complexion. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sangha Panga Saparsadam, followed by many devotees. Just like you see, see the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's picture, he is followed always by uh, his association and devotees. Sangha Panga Saparsadam. Jagganisha, this form of the Lord should be worshipped. Therefore, we do not uh, worship Krishna directly through Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, through Sankirtan movement. That is the process prescribed in the Shastra. You cannot worship Krishna directly, then we will misunderstand. Those who are not following the path of Chaitanya Sankirtan movement, if they want to understand Krishna, they will simply uh, uh, misrepresent Krishna's this rashi and this all. That's all. No. Although other yasanas prescribed in the Vedic literature are not easy to perform in this age of Kali, the Sankirtan yasana is the easiest and is sublime for all purposes, as is recommended in the Bhagavad Gita. Yes, in the Bhagavad Gita also it is recommended. Satatam kirtan tam maam jatam tasya virabhrata. So, this process, chanting of Hare Krishna mantra, and gradually to develop Krishna consciousness, is the only means for, uh, I mean to say, elevating yourself to the perfectional stage which is meant for this human life. Otherwise, we are simply, uh, what is called, cutting our own throat. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Don't go to a outside today's lecture. You try to answer question means the the lecture on which I was speaking. If there is any difficulty, that should be question. Otherwise, if you go outside, that is present atmosphere created for this purpose, that will be done. So question means on the subject matter which is already discussed. Uh, if there is any doubt or if there is any difficulty for understanding uh, the subject matter which we have already discussed, that is the subject matter of course. Yes. Krishna directly, yes, through the process, they just like uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. Uh, so the Shastra uh, advises in its structure that those who are intelligent, intelligent, the word is used there, sumedhasa. Sumedhasa means those who have got nice brain samastha. So, Krishna, you can approach Krishna. There are so many ways you can approach Krishna. In other words, it is said, mamo vartyanu vartanti patha manusya sarvas. Krishna, our relationship is with Krishna. And that relationship cannot be cut off. That is there. Even those who are disobedient to Krishna, uh, those who are atheists, godless, or Krishnaless, they are also obeying Krishna's order. They are also. Just like a, 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 an outlaw who does not care to abide by the laws, he is also abiding the laws of the state. 
in a different way. He is being forced. So those who are not in Krishna consciousness, he is being forced by Maya to act. So that is there already, direct connection is there in this way or that way. But here it is prescribed that anyone who wants the ultimate uh, perfection of life, they should worship Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is, that's like Rupa Goswami worship Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Namo Mahabadanaya Krishna Prima Pradayati. Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gauratti Se Namah. He says that, my Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you are the most munificent incarnation because you are distributing love of Krishna. Therefore, uh, I offer you my respectful obeisances uh, on account of your distributing Krishna consciousness. And this is possible because you are Krishna yourself. Krishna, Krishna Chaitanya Nāmi. Simply you have assumed the name of Krishna Chaitanya. So, these are the injunctions of the Shastras, and if we uh, follow Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, give, gives you the easiest method. He says that in this age, simply chant Krishna and you will get all perfection. So that is the easiest part. So therefore, if we follow the footprints of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then it becomes easier. Uh, Krishna says, Sarvadhanman Paritajya in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, all right, you cannot give up all of a sudden everything. You just join in this chanting. <coughs> that is more magnanimous, you see. <coughs> we ask nobody that you, you fulfill all conditions of Krishna consciousness. Then you come here. No. We simply say, please come here. We have taken this nice hall and these boys, uh, they are uh, I'm giving their blood to maintain the establishment. Uh, we don't want anything from you. Please come and chant with us. That is our request. Uh, we don't ask you that because you are paying four hundred, five hundred dollars for this building, you give us something. If you give, it is welcome. But he simply requests you, oh, please come and chant with us and dance with us and take the prasada. That's all. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's program. Oh. Because we know that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will supply us everything. We don't depend on your contribution. But if you give, oh, that is good for you. But our only request is that please come here. Please chant with us, dance with us. That's all. Yes. So, there are these nice clouds that come to the chair and it's very lonely thing to talk about family, friends, and the country. Yes, think of, at the same time, chant. Two things will go on and this will conquer. <laughs> As Maya is forcing you to dra drag you from this Krishna consciousness, you also force Maya by chanting Hare Krishna. There is fight, and Maya will go away. Devi Jesa Agunamayi Maya Durattaya 
Māmi vaja prapadvanti māyāmi tāng tarantite. The māyā is very strong. She will force you uh, to entice you to other path. But if you bring on chant, he could chant loudly, just like Pridās Thakur was chanting, and māyā could not victimize him. You know that? What was his stand? Simply chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Maya could not entice. Maya failed. Maya became his disciple. He did not become Maya's disciple. This is tug of war. So don't be afraid of Maya. Simply enhance chanting and he will be conquered. That's all. Narayana Parasabhi in a Kutasana Bibhuti. You are not afraid of Maya. Because Krishna is there. Yes. Krishna says, Kauntya Pradijani hi nami vattapanasvati. You just declare, my devotee will never be vanquished by Maya. Maya cannot do anything. Simply you have to become strong. And what is the strength? Chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Loud. Yes. Maya means which uh, drags you from Krishna. That is Maya. Whatever form may be, uh, force. We shall see form later on. You just, uh, just like uh, a police sends you warrant, arrest. Uh, you, uh, you do not ask, what is the form of the police? But here is warrant, you have to go. For That's all. Similarly, don't try to understand what is Maya's form, but to just feel her force, how she is acting, how she is putting you in difficulty. You see? There are so many things. Ah, Maya puts into this difficulty and you are in encumbered. That you have to understand. How I have become encumbered? In my childhood I was free. Oh, there was no encumbrance. Now I am encumbered and harassed. This is Maya's action. So if you want to get out of this Maya's influence, then you have to become Krishna. There is no other alternative. Can't 